alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today's video is going to be another story time. I've been waiting to share this one with you guys, and you'll see why I've been waiting probably towards the end of the video if you watch all the way through. You should also subscribe if you are new here. I'd really appreciate that. Welcome to the family. I post videos every single week. I want to share this story so you guys can be like, hey, maybe I should not do what she did because I definitely learned from it, and I know that the situation I got myself into could have been a lot worse. My business email is in my Instagram. It's in all of my YouTube descriptions. It's very easy to contact me through my business email. This guy, Bill, reaches out and he's like, hey, I'm a photographer locally in your area. I would love to work with you. I really want exposure and I need experience. And I need a model to shoot portraits with because I'm new to this. Do you want to shoot together? If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will see that I do a lot of photo shoots with professional photographers. I'm not a model. That's not something that I'm aspiring to be. That's just a hobby for me. Once you get hit up to do a photo shoot with one photographer, they all slowly start reaching out to you the more that you do them. It's not unusual for me to get an email or a direct message like this. And I was like, okay, let's shoot. I'm down. He tells me that he wants to meet up beforehand at a coffee shop to like discuss what we're gonna be doing with the photo shoot And so that made me feel extra safe because I was like, all right public location setting sounds good to me Sat down and I met him He was an older gentleman and like there's nothing wrong with that if you're older you want to pick up a new hobby But it was a little bit strange. He told me that he was not going to charge me that I would be doing him a favor I am going to be shooting everything that you want me to shoot for you for free in hopes that maybe one day when I'm experienced You'll hire me and he had shown me some of the shoots that he'd done for other people I noticed that they were really Really risque and some of them were like super photoshopped to where like there were double of them and like someone was like floating next to them like he was really into the photo editing it was just a different type of like photography I'd never seen it almost looked kind of dark like 50 shades of gray they were wearing masks and things like that and so I was like all right it's a little bit different this guy maybe he's a little bit different also but it's nothing to be afraid of like he's harmless whatever also very important to mention around this time I had just started my patreon and he had made a comment that he had checked out my patreon I don't know if he's on my patreon or if he just saw that I had one if you guys don't know what that is It's linked below if you guys want to check it out It's basically a place where I post videos photos private snapchats things like that that are a little bit less filtered less censored Sometimes a little bit more adult nothing crazy like I don't have nudes on there or anything like that But just things that YouTube is obviously going to demonetize and where I'm able to express myself a little more He brought that up to me asked me the kinds of things that I would post on there Which were a little bit more risque if you want to even call it that he also mentioned my bikini try and hauls on YouTube which I thought was really weird. He didn't mention anything else from my YouTube He just said that he saw the bikini try and hauls and then asked me if I wanted to like film a video with him like that Like essentially him videoing me trying on bikinis Like I don't even know what he was trying to say that was like something really weird I noticed and I overlooked which I probably shouldn't have and so before I left I asked him what I should bring to the shoot Like what should I wear? He said that he had a professional makeup artist who was gonna like do my makeup for the shoot And I was like damn he said to bring dresses fashionable items because he wanted to do some type of fashion shoot But I could also bring like Calvin clients if I wanted to. I'm also totally comfortable posing in those kind of things. Like, I don't have any sense of fashion, so, like, that's kind of what I wear a lot of the time. This is also a freaking red flag. This is just weird in general. Where he wanted to do the photo shoot was an abandoned warehouse that he somehow finessed the keys to, and he told me this whole story of how he did that, and I don't even really know if I believe it at this point. The makeup person ended up not being able to come. He told me that last minute, and so I was like, all right, whatever. My best friend at the time, the one who burned down my neighbor's porch and tried to, like, steal my boyfriend or whatever, she was supposed to come with me, and she ended up last minute bailing so I showed up by myself he didn't like what I was wearing which was a dress he wanted me to immediately put on the Calvin Klein's and the more revealing items that I had brought with me and I felt really uncomfortable just because he wasn't talking much this is a different type of shoot than anyone that I'd ever done before usually I did ones out in nature or in my house he had a lighting system too which I had never worked with before it was just awkward like I didn't know him and it got really progressively weird as we kept taking the photos he would say things like wow such a nice figure those hips those curves like things like that like under his breath I don't know what to do I just was so uncomfortable like can I wear the dress now like do you want me to change and he'd be like oh no put this one on he'd pick out something like super revealing that I had brought it became really clear that he was kind of a pervert he's old like he could be my grandfather the whole scenario of this just got so weird it was starting to get dark like if something did happen here and I screamed nobody would have heard me the comments he kept making the vibes the location in which he chose to shoot in all just red freaking flags and I had a racing gut feeling that I like needed to get out of there but I I didn't know how and I also thought I was overreacting especially because at this point I thought he was helping me out social media is my job so me posting pictures is like awesome like I need someone else to take pictures of me he was at one point trying to have me like pull down my bra strap like kind of more suggestive like the poses just got weird that he wanted me to do and I was like no I'm not really comfortable doing that like I'm not trying to take off my clothes like I don't know if he would have asked that eventually if I were to do that but he just wanted me to like make the poses sexier where I was almost like insinuating I was taking off the Calvin Klein's and things like that you could tell that he was getting a 
made as if I just wasn't like working with what he wanted as the photographer. If you wanted me to do a photo shoot like that, then you should have told me that because I felt tricked and I know I could have left at any point, but I didn't because I'm stupid and I felt like I was looking too much into it, but now I can realize even more how creepy this was. Finally, when it gets around time to leave, the sun is basically completely down, like it's dark. He's taken a million photos of me. I throw some clothes over myself, get everything in my bag, and as I'm leaving, he tells me, hey, I'm gonna send you the first three photos for free. After that, each one is going to be $50. $50. $50 each. I don't want any of your photos. I'm not gonna pay $50 for one photo. There are people who do an entire shoot for $50. Plus, you told me I wasn't paying for this. You reached out to me. You told me I was helping you. Now you're telling me it's gonna be $50 a photo. After you had already taken all the photos, I essentially felt blackmailed. I was pissed. But I just wanted to get out of there. I was so mad. I didn't really even say anything. I just kind of stood there like, are you effing kidding me? And he could obviously tell by my expression that I was like, you literally told me that this was free. Like, I don't get it. I just felt so deceived and I was so pissed that he now had all of these photos of me. Maybe like 20 minutes later or whatever, like right when I got home, he's already texting me asking like, are you excited to post the photos? And then emailing me photos. He sends me the first five, like he promised. The next like 500 photos, the rest of the ones that we took were watermark. He didn't want me to have the photos that that bad without paying him $50 per photo that he watermarked every single one of them. I have never seen a photographer do that, go to that extent. It was just insane. Then I get another email from him with a contract that he's asking me to sign, basically saying that I'm giving him the rights to my intellectual property. All the photos that he just took of me half freaking naked for three hours in this abandoned building and my Calvin Klein saying that he can make money off of them, that he can put them on his website. He owns them now and he wants me to sign off saying that. And I straight up was like, I'm not signing this. I don't want you posting any of these. You do not have my permission. I basically flat out told them like, I'm not going to pay for any of their photos. Like this is ridiculous and I don't want to work with you ever again. And this was all an email, mind you. So if he went against anything I just said, I probably could have got him in some sort of legal trouble. I did want to share this story because I know that he watches my YouTube apparently, or at least he watches my bikini try and hauls. And yeah, I'm not trying to call this guy out. You guys won't be able to find this guy anyway, so it's fine. And if you did for some reason, please don't hate on him and stuff because that's the last thing I want. Like truly, I don't want to be involved with him at all. I ended up telling Cliff about this later on he's my really good photographer friend that I always work with and he was so freaked out he was like Allie that's really bad that's so unprofessional that's so inappropriate like that's scary you should have called me I would have shown up there I would have like kicked the guy's ass so in conclusion you guys listen to your gut don't go off with strangers whether it's a photographer or a tinder date or whatever they say they are thank you guys for watching if you want more story times please give this video a big thumbs up also leave a comment below letting me know if you would like me to share some stories similar to this I don't have anything just like this but I don't know just story times in general so let me know below. Follow my social media. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Later alligators. Bye.